Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekly love reading for this week of August 27th to September 2nd. Stick around towards the end, Leo. I will be getting each zodiac signs, feelings, and actions towards you for the week. I know I am a day late. I'm so sorry. Your girl needed some sleep, some rest, you know? So let's see what we got going on here in your love life for the week and get your messages out. Bear with me as I read for single, separated, and in partnership. Take what's yours and leave the rest behind. First card out is Guide. So probably seeing some signs and synchronicities revolving your love life. Some of you are specifically asking for guidance revolving your love life, and you will get it this week. You also have patience, so you're being guided to be patient with love as well as tribe. Woo. All right, so your spiritual support system is coming in like never before this week revolving around your love life. It looks like you are in the need of being patient, patient for love coming in. Patience in a situation developing and evolving. Some of you are waiting for an offer of commitment. The universe is saying, be patient with your energy. Wow, very internal type of vibe here. Let's clarify this and see why you have it. On guide, we have barrier. Okay, so some of you feel like your love life is blocked. And you are going to receive guidance in how to remove this barrier from your energy. On patience, we have action. So in due time, there is going to be offers and opportunities given to you. In due time, there is going to be very specific action taken towards you. Some of you may actually be waiting for a moment to do something or say something. The universe is saying the time will be right at whatever point in time it's supposed to. And you have soulmate. Wow. All right. So this is why the universe wants you to be patient. They're like, Leo, we're bringing you a soulmate. We're bringing you not only someone who is part of your soul tribe, but also an individual who you are destined to be with at the same time. So that's pretty cool. I feel like for a lot of you singles. I feel like you are definitely going to align with a soulmate if you are not already. And others of you, if you are waiting for a specific action or waiting for your own energy to feel courageous in doing something or saying something, the time will be right eventually. The time will come where you're like, all right, now it's time. Now I should say this. Now I feel the action is being taken. Now the opportunity and offer. So I definitely feel like there could be a soulmate energy around you or coming in, but there's a need to have patience in more offers, more action, and possibly more development. We have control issues. So some of you are needing to let go of your control issues and we have ready for love. Yep. So that's probably why you have patience and guide here. Because I feel like you want something. You want a specific type of connection. You want a specific type of person. And the universe is saying to you here, Leo, you can have it. You've been guarded for a while. But being ready for love is one thing. But trying to control how things go is another thing. So being in the energy of going with the flow is being highly called for at this time, especially with patience and control issues. It looks like the universe is saying, let the divine take the lead on this connection. Let things unfold the way they are supposed to unfold. If you are in a relationship right now, I definitely feel like there's something you want to hear from this person or there's something you want to be offered from this person and the universe is saying like it will come it will happen but just slow down go with the flow don't stress yourself out and just sit in that energy of open-hearted and ready for love ready for these words ready for this action because i feel like if you're in a relationship i feel like you're waiting for something very specific 
If you are just dating or just single, I feel like there could be a specific person or development of like a dating situation. So let's see what we have in the tarot or uh, theme cards. We have shine with the sun. So what is blocking you is going to be very obvious around this time. We also have move with the chariot. So travel indication. Breaking through blocks as well. The chariot loves breaking through certain things. And, you know, with patience, action to the chariot, the universe is saying things are going to move in the way that they're supposed to. Don't put any unneeded pressure and self-suffering onto your journey with love or romance. And we also have well-deserved reward with the Nine of Pentacles. So just keep focusing on your growth your evolution. A lot of you singles, I feel like you're definitely aligning with love. If you're dating with some dating someone, I definitely feel like this connection is going through a developmental stage where you two will align more in a union type of way. But you know, when well-deserved reward comes in, I feel like the universe is going to reward you with love, reward you with an offer, reward you with a very specific type of person. Let's clarify this here. This is for Leo, for love. Release your grip on the how, on the why, and on the who, and just let it happen. On the sun, we have the four of cups. Yeah. So you're going to see exactly where you are causing dissatisfaction for yourself. On the chariot, we have the Ace of Swords. All right, so there's definitely some sort of new communication, new individual. There's definitely something that's going to come in divine timing that's going to move your energy in a very good direction with love. Some of you have just been, I'm telling, I can feel it. I'm like, why do I feel like a lot of y'all are just waiting to hear someone say something? So, you know, that could play out in all different type of storylines. You could be waiting for a past person to say something. You could be waiting for your current person to say something. You could be waiting for a new person to make a move. Um, you could also be in a position of, you may even have your eye on someone that you haven't actually even talked to yet and waiting for that new, that first communication to happen. And on the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Two of Cups. Yeah. You are being aligned with a soulmate for sure. I feel like a lot of you as well, there may have been some sort of cycles where you felt rejected or got rejected. It looks like it was purposeful. Some of you were rejected to be redirected to someone better. And if you are in a relationship and you've been waiting for more of that union, you've been waiting for more of that togetherness, I definitely feel like there is going to be some sort of conversation about moving this connection forward that's going to bring about more of a connection between the two of you. It looks like you feel really good about this connection. You feel really good about this person. But possible control issues and possible need to rush and know everything at every moment could be causing a little bit of a block for you here. Some of you are even in the rejecting mode where you're the one doing it. And the universe is saying to you like, hey, are you ready for love? Or are you not ready for love? Which one is it? So let's clarify this and get your advice and outcome. But there's definitely a connection coming in or around you that is going to be important if it's not already. The Four of Cups we have to the Seven of Cups. Yeah. I feel like there is definitely something that is being heightened here in this situation where I feel like for a lot of you Leos, you may be kind of in the clouds or in fantasy land a little bit about what you want, who you want, how you want this situation to move forward. Like, what do you want a relationship to look like? Because I kind of feel like for some of you Leos, 
you thought you wanted a specific type of person or you thought you wanted a specific type of relationship and now you're like, mm, hold on, I don't want something like that. On the Ace of Swords, we have the Hierophant. There it is. Spirit's bringing you a soulmate. You got tribe to soulmate? Yeah. Yeah. The universe is bringing you someone. And if you're already around someone, I definitely feel like the universe is bringing you into a stronger union with somebody. And on the Two of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like for some of you, you may be a little uncertain if someone has feelings for you. And I definitely feel through this, I feel like they do. I feel like their heart is warming up to you and or their heart is warmed up to you. And I feel like this person is just gaining that courage to say something and to show more of that interest and show more of that love towards you. Some of you, Leos, this could be you. And, you know, a lot of the times unspoken feelings leave, um, un, I don't want to say unfinished connections. Um, sometimes unspoken feelings leave things up in the air and things separate and there's never any certainty of how anyone felt because no one decided to be action oriented in saying it. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you, there is going to be an up in the air type of energy this week about should I express my emotions? Should I wait for this person to express their emotions? And if you are connecting to a totally new individual this week, I feel like it's kind of like, okay, I don't know how this person feels. I want to know how this person feels, but I don't want to ask them right away. And that could be where control issues energy is coming through, where you meet someone right away and you're like, I want to know if they're interested. I want to know how they feel about me. And the universe kind of like, it'll come in due time. So it looks like I feel like you will receive some sort of confession or some sort of communication of interest in divine timing. And I got to say that you have patience. Patience is here. Surprise, divine timing isn't up here. So your advice is the page of wands. So just let it feel exciting for you. Let it feel like you are ready for it instead of hiding from it or feeling like because you don't have the answers or because you don't know exactly how an individual feels that you need to control the way things are happening. And with the Page of Wands as your advice, they want you to give it that childlike wonder, that childlike enthusiasm and just being and doing something fun where, all right, well, me and this person have been dating for a while. I don't want to give it that pressure that something has to develop right now. And let's just have fun with it. And that's how things move. When you give it that pressure, when you give it that need to know, need to conclude, need to know the outcome, that is when the control comes in. And your outcome for the week is the King of Pentacles. Yeah. So it looks like there is a stable connection coming in or development towards stability with someone. So I feel like it's going to be talked about first. I feel like there's something about communication here. If you've been having weird communication with your person or with this person, I definitely feel like this communication is going to be a bit more stable and reliable between the two of you, which is going to probably help you feel less rejected or confused and or vice versa. You could have been making a person feel this way. And with the King of Pentacles being in your outcome, it looks like there is a very stable connection coming in around you or this connection is going to develop to stability. But it looks like it's talked about first. It looks like the feelings are going to be talked about first in a sense, or there is some sort of conversation that's going to happen that's going to give that security of feeling stable. So let's see why this is here. We'll clarify this one more time. On the Seven of Cups, we have the King of Cups more water energy on the Hierophant. We have the two of wands and on the Knight of cups, we have the Knight of wands. Yeah. 
So as much as you want to make it seem like you have no emotions or have no feelings or this person wants to do that, um, the energy is energy. People can feel things, you know? And I feel like with this Knight of Cups and Knight of Wands, there is a certain type of attraction you are going to feel with this person right away. Or there is a certain type of development stage where I feel like if you're dating someone right now, I feel like y'all are moving from passion to showing a little bit more emotion. And then a little bit more emotion leads to more stability. Like, that's what I feel. So if you have been in a connection for a while, or even if you're married or in a relationship and things have felt a little bit off or uncertain, it looks like the stability of the situation is going to return in. And I feel like some of you, y'all may have options. I mean, you have the Seven of Cups, you have the Knight of Wands, and you have the Knight of Cups. So some of y'all have options. Mm-hmm. Now, vice versa, some of you may feel like the person you are connecting to has options. Try not to put be in that energy of controlling the situation. If your value being the most abundant, they will see that. They will be attracted to that. That's what will be in that position of stable for this person. Because um, I almost feel like for some of you, y'all may meet someone on Friday. And you're like, all right, I like you. I'm interested in you. How many people are you also dating? <laughs> and this person's like, whoa, hold up. I just met you like 20 minutes ago. I kind of get that for some reason. So hone the hasty energy with patience here and really give a connection and give a situation it's um time to unfold and I definitely feel like for a lot of you if you are already in a commitment married relationship title label whatever you want to call it I feel like there is movement into being more stable and whether that means moving in with each other or buying a house together, or spending more time at this person's place and vice versa, there's going to be like more stability in that sense. For some reason, I can see that like, you know, maybe they'll leave their toothbrush there, <laughs> like something like that. Um, Knight, uh, me, I'm sorry, Page of Wands as your advice with the Two of Pentacles. So interesting. Your advice is to not let love knock you off your game and also not not allow it in your life at all because I feel like for some of you if you're single you may just have focus of business and you're like business business career 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 and the universe is kind of like that's fine and dandy but love also wants to make its way into your life some of you could be totally love focused and you focus on it so much that your career suffers or your business suffers. Your advice is to find balance in the things that excite you, the things that make you money, the things that make you feel loved and to not give to all all at once and to find a nice balance in that because that's what that's what happens when you have barriers and blocks or have control issues. It's like for example, say you don't trust someone, but you're with someone that you can't trust. You'll probably be around this person 24-7 and never do things that you want to do for yourself all because you're like, well, if I leave this person alone, who knows what they're going to do? That is absolutely no way to live, you know? So your, ad your advice is saying to you like, let connections come in, let relationships develop and transform that fit into your energy and that you can give to and that you can find balance in, not that you feel like you have to chaperone. King of Pentacles as your outcome with the Justice card. Yep. So I feel like you have some sort of reward. I feel like the universe is bringing you a reward as a person, a, a soulmate to connect to here and or just some more balance in this connection. Because if things have been super imbalanced, maybe you didn't really even know where you stood with this person. I feel like that's what's coming in. 
clarity, knowing where you stand, knowing how someone feels about you, and knowing what's right to engage in and what you shouldn't engage in. And that's what I feel like. If you have options, Leo, um, keep in mind, you know, when, when we do these types of things, like, we mirror, we as like we are what we put out and vice versa. So if you are someone who keeps their options open, you cannot be, what's the word I'm looking for? I mean, you could be, right? You can't, can't and could not be anything. But say, for example, you're an individual who keeps their options open and then you connect to someone who also keeps their options open, but you're mad that they're doing it. You are what you attract. So, of course, you're going to attract in someone who does that if you do it. You know what I mean? So, if you don't want to attract in someone who keeps their options open and keeps people lingering in, like, rotation, then don't do it. And choose, you know, because justice here, like I said, y'all, justice makes final choices. Justice makes final choices not only for balance but because of the laws of karma. So you get what you give. If you're playing everyone like a fiddle, eventually you are probably going to align with someone who doesn't have true intentions towards you. So if you are a person with options and you align with someone who also has options, don't be in the sense of, all right, well, I need to make sure this person cuts off every option. You don't have to do that. You just cut, you just decide on your energy. And with you doing it, that's how you shift a situation. You're never going to shift another person. The only way you shift another energy is you shifting. So, yeah. That's what I got. But it definitely does look like for a lot of you, there is stability in a connection coming in. Or a very stable person around you that it looks like within due time is definitely going to um, develop and unfold to more of a stable situation. Even commitment, higher level commitment, whatever the case may be. So in terms of zodiac signs and the spread that could be around you or in your chart. Um, we have Leo, we have Libra and Taurus. Now, pay attention to any sort of conversations and communications you receive around this time. Because there is something about this moving your energy forward with love. So let's see, all the way from Aries to Pisces. Each zodiac sign's feelings and actions towards you, we have Aries. You don't know how hard it was to let you go and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like Aries doesn't want to let you go. This combination kind of gives me an indication of it was hard to let you go because I did it for selfish reasons, but I kind of still want your attention. So I feel like an Aries may try to come around for some type of self-satisfaction here. Uh, next, oh, I don't like, I don't like it like this. Let's put it like this. Okay, Taurus. You and I were too young and the Seven of Cups. Some of you feel highly confused by a Taurus. Some of you feel like you are an option to a Taurus. They are indicating that possibly you two are too young, age gap and or immaturity. But with the Seven of Cups, it looks like they're still up in the air about this connection. And... If you're not around them, I feel like some of you may have a dream of a Taurus, but if you are around them, I kind of feel like they may confuse you or keep you uncertain this week. Next up is Gemini. I feel you even though we are apart and the Queen of Cups. So I feel like Gemini is definitely in their feelings over you with the Nine of Pentacles here. I feel like although Gemini still has strong feelings for you, it does seem like they're trying to grow and work on their own independence. Uh, but they do feel connected to you. But the Nine of Pentacles is usually an independent card. So although you two may be apart, maybe for work, um, they still feel your energy. They still feel that love for you. Will they take action on it? Eh. Let's see. Ten of Cups. I would say no. I would say they're focusing very strongly on themselves. It, but if you're around them, I feel like their action will just be around you. But if you're in separation, I don't see it. Okay, Cancer. I wish I had treated you better and the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like Cancer is definitely feeling slightly remorseful, possibly even regretful. And with the Queen of Pentacles here, they definitely want to show you that they're stable. Some of you, a Cancer, may have seemed... There it is, King of Pentacles. 
Um, some of you may connect in a stable connection or commitment with a Cancer. Or I feel like Cancer's trying to show you that they're stable so that you offer them commitment. Next up is Leo. I am becoming a better person and the Two of Cups. So some of you are going to connect or reconnect to a fellow Leo. Um, Two of Cups here, definitely strong connection, definitely soulmate vibes. They feel like possibly they have evolved and they are becoming a better person and they're ready to connect with you or just ready to reconnect in general. Um, you are Leo, so take which way you want to take that in kind of a general sense. You could be finding yourself more open to connecting. Next up is Virgo. We need to let each other go and the Empress. All right. When does Virgos ever make sense? I can't. Virgos and Scorpios, I can't. They always make no sense to me. All right, so I feel like Virgo, they may have disrespected you or didn't make you feel valued. And with the Empress, why do they have that? The Ace of Swords. I knew it. I knew it. I'm like, eh, I don't like this combo. All right, so, I, you know, this is like the Virgo may say, hey, Leo, I need. we need to break up just for you to try to chase them somehow. Or like, hey, Leo, want to talk about something? They want to say something to you. I feel like the hanged man. Oh, my God. I feel like a Virgo either initiated a separation or will just for you to chase them. So I'd be careful about that. <clears throat> there also could be a mother figure involved or like a baby mom situation here. Um, next up is Libra with I Want You and the Knight of Cups. So Libra definitely has feelings for you. With the Knight of Cups, they are definitely interested in seeing where things go. The Knight of Cups is definitely in an interest phase where they're like, ooh, I have interest or I have interest again. Um, so Libra definitely is in the interest mode. They want you. They want to pursue you. And they want to see what can come from this cycle. Where did that card go? Hold on. Okay. Next up is Scorpio. I lost myself for a little while and the Six of Swords. So Scorpio may have been distant from you because they were going through something or they weren't feeling that great. And with the Six of Swords to the world, it looks like they're ready to bridge the gap between the distance and the Six of Pentacles be around you more. So if you felt like a Scorpio just wasn't around or wasn't really giving much to the situation or just kind of breadcrumbing you, they may start to give a little bit more to you this week and lessen that gap of distance. Next up is Sagittarius with I Regret Lying to You and the Seven of Pentacles. So there is a waiting period between you and Sagittarius. They lied to you about something that they are feeling regretful towards. And with the Two of Pentacles, I feel like they don't really know exactly how to make things right between the two of you. I don't feel like they know exactly what they're supposed to say. So high indecision from a Sagittarius this week may also be making you feel indecisive. We have Capricorn. I know that I crossed the line with you and the Eight of Wands. All right, so it looks like Capricorn's going to try to talk about something. They're going to try to conversate about something. They know that they cross the line with you in somehow, some way, shape, or form. Four of Swords and the Four of Wands. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, who's dealing with a Capricorn? Who? Raise your hand. Raise your hand, Nine of Swords. Okay, honestly, I feel like Capricorn... This gives me an energy where, like, they are not learning from their mistakes. So whatever they did that crossed the line with you, I kind of feel like they could do it again. I kind of get, like, a lack of awareness from this individual. I mean, the Four of Swords with the Nine of Swords. It's like, they know they hurt you and they know that they did something to mess with this connection. But... They can't figure out how to fix it. They can't figure out how to make it right. But they know what they did. But they can't figure out how to become a better person. Or they can't figure out how to like not be toxic or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> That's what I got. Um, you, may hear com you may hear communication from a Capricorn. Or they may say something to you. But I don't feel like it's going to go that great for some reason. 
Um, next up is Aquarius. We will be together again and the Ten of Pentacles. So Aquarius feels like you two are going to be in each other's areas again. Possibly they may invite you to their house or you invite them to their, to yours. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like Aquarius wants to continuously work on this connection or re-put effort into this situation if they haven't been in a while. And lastly, we have Pisces. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you and the Four of Cups. So Pisces is feeling ignored, rejected by you here. Sometimes they stay awake thinking about you. And with the Four of Cups, it doesn't look like they feel like they are getting exactly what they want from you. Judgment and the Ace of Wands. Okay, but it looks like Pisces is either going to continuously try to get what they want out of you or... Ace of Wands, try to initiate some sort of conversation between the two of you that they hope will give them some sort of what they're looking for. Uh, Four of Cups feels like they're not getting what they want. Four of Cups feels like they're receiving offers, but they're not what they want them to look like. So I feel like Pisces may definitely try to get what they want out of you in some way, shape, or form. So let's uh, eventually, though, I did clarify to in so maybe towards the end of the week so let's make sure everyone's out here for you leo one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve all right leo thank you for being here and for watching i love each and every, each and every one of you out there please do not forget to like this video subscribe if you have not already and i'll see and talk to all of y'all very very soon bye now